Okay, y'all. Now, I covered this story as soon as it aired. And it was weird to me. Because no information is being given because a killer is only 17 years old. Now, I'm trying to find out when they're going to release something because they just put in a waiver to wave him over as an adult so they can get him in the adult system or charge him in the juvenile system for the murders. But listen to what they got to say, y'all. I do not own the rights to this video and everything is allegedly. Y'all check it out what they say. They believe the two bodies found off Buckhorn Road on Sunday are those two missing teens. TV 17's Haley Fixler is joining us now live with this new information. Haley. Well, investigators are still waiting for that medical report, but right now the sheriff's office does believe the body is found right up on this hill where a 14-year-old Lyric Woods and 18-year-old Devin Clark, they were both reported missing Saturday. Which is weird, it ain't adding up. updating this Facebook post from Sunday, urging people to look for 14-year-old Lyric Woods, a freshman at Cedar Ridge High School. Now it alerts the public her disappearance is a homicide investigation. On social media, family members posted Woods was discovered dead on Sunday after she left her mother's home without a phone. They believe she was picked up by someone early Saturday morning. I found out that Wood's mother lives just about two miles away from where her body was discovered on Buckhorn Road. Investigators say 18-year-old Devin Clark was found with Woods. His mother, Tiffany Conception, says the former football player at Eastern Alamance High School went missing around the same time Woods did. What led up to the shooting? Where's the other person? Who's the person that picked either one of them up? Who's the person or people that dropped them off? It's, it's too many questions. Now, just moments ago, I did just get a copy of the missing persons report filed for Woods. I'm going to share what I found in those documents tonight at 5. Live in Mevin, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. Haley, thank you. Okay, y'all, and I just wanted y'all to hear that, you know, that, uh, what they were saying. I just wanted y'all to hear what they were saying because it makes sense. Because when I first covered this, you know, I was telling y'all that, uh, I was telling y'all that it was weird, you know, how both of them came up dead, found in the same place, and it was weird, and nothing else was really said about it, and then now they got a 17-year-old in custody, and it was just weird to me that, uh, you know, both of them popped up dead, and they was found in the same area, and we don't know if it was a prejudice killing or if someone he was jealous thought they was going together a friendship you know it really caught my eye and I really when it first hit I really was kind of coercitive about it because I told y'all it wasn't adding up you know and uh, it still ain't adding up you know about their death well they didn't have their funerals and buried them so if any information that they come up with about it, you know, is just weird, you know. I'll be glad when they release the information about the 17-year-old so we can know more details about it, y'all. But I've been following it, and uh, it's weird. It's weird as all get out, straight up. I just don't get it, you know. So by him being 17, they not going to release why he killed them. Or none of that. It's going to be a private courtroom. No, not just anybody can go up in there, you know, and uh, get in the courtroom because he's a juvenile. And that's how they're going to treat it. So um, this lady D live from Detroit. I've been following it and covering it, y'all, but it's weird. And if y'all know or been following it and you got any pointers or information, hit me up. Let me know. But it's weird. You know, and they already had their funerals or whatever, but they were shot, found dead on the side of the road by ATF riders. He's black, she's white. I'm going to let y'all decide on that. But I've been following the story and investigating, and it's weird. Weird as all get out. Y'all enjoy y'all day.